Okay guys, I am back and it has been, again, a whole nother week since I touched anything on the desk. Um, it was a bizarre week and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish up these clusters that I kind of started making to fill in on our journal. Um, yeah, this probably will be the last one. Um, and I'm gonna use some Atina's roses cause they kind of um, work throughout um, the, throughout the journal and after that we'll see how fluffy it is and if we need to make some more or something different that sort of thing um so let me show you how I did these and I'm I'm gonna do them super simple like um so I'm just gonna take my tiny Tim Holtz attacher I mean clusters are um be awesome to be using um, for these things. So I'm just gonna put them together like so. Like so, I'll tell you kind of what, or show you what I'm kind of doing, and then, then we will get into the craziness of my week. I debated whether I would record today or not. Um, today is like the first day that my vision hasn't been blurry. So yeah, like I said, I'll show you this one and then we'll just kind of craft together and just talk, I guess. I think I want to do, oops, I do think I'm going to do a cleanup one, um, how we've done before in the past where I'll do like a mop up because I do want to use up the last bit of scraps in this one. Um, so yeah, like, or, you know. I guess I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways. <laughs> okay, so you saw me do that one, so that's kind of what we're just gonna do. Um, like I said, we might pull over a couple of more things. Um, I'm kind of just wanting to get this pile over here kind of down too, so. We might do more than what we'll actually use in the journal, because I do like having some things on hand too. Oops. Well, that's not any good. All right, so the week. Um, I think the last time I recorded, I told you guys that I was kind of working um, at the old building that I had been at um, before, um, doing some other asset work and um, that sort of thing because the guys I work with were out with COVID and so I just hung out there for a week. Um, so, and then they, I still needed to finish some stuff up on Monday and Tuesday over there. So I did that. And then, um, the afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, I went ahead and went back to the other building and my boss got me all set up for stuff that I need to do there. Um, except for Wednesday morning in Colorado, at least Northern Colorado, we had, um, kind of an ice storm of sorts, which we don't normally get those. Um, I was getting out of the pickup and I went to step on my step and my foot went out from underneath me and I went down hard Wednesday morning, like really hard, Heck. really hard. Um, I hit my bum on the step and then I proceeded to like basically slide down and, um, my head hit the step and then my I hit my head again on the asphalt and it and I couldn't get up like the guy one of the guys I work with came out like was getting there about the same time and didn't quite see it happen but was definitely there like seconds after it happened and um he he had to like help me up and I couldn't bear any weight on my left leg and so I went and I went in and I called my boss and told her what had happened. And I, with the main reason I had called her is because I really didn't think it would really turn into anything, but it was because um, I didn't want her going out if she didn't have to. Um, and I think I've told you guys this before, like um, I've known the lady that I work for, for like 20 some years. And so, I don't know, I, um, I just really, I just adore her. I love her. I respect her immensely. And, um, so yeah, I didn't, like, don't go out if you don't have to. Um, 
so and then you know obviously I told her what had happened and stuff and then I was like I think for right now I'm just gonna go upstairs kind of see um, survey the damage because um, the restroom that we use is upstairs um, I'm gonna go survey damage and then while I was in the bathroom doing all that um, I got so lightheaded and then my vision started like fuzzing out it was it was pretty scary so I went back down, I called her and said, hey, is it okay if I have um, so-and-so take me over and just get looked at? So she's like, yes, definitely do it. So I went over um, there and they um, did x-rays and that sort of thing and nothing was broke, but I definitely, definitely messed myself up good. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what all what else happened. Um, so I got a concussion. Uh, my bum is very bruised. Like on my left cheek, there is literally the shape of my step on my pickup. Um, they put me on heavy duty pain meds, which would would have been okay if they had worked. Um, but as it turns out, I have a touch of an allergy to that medicine apparently because I. Um, was, uh, I got a severe headache, like, in the early, uh, early morning hours of Friday, like, I couldn't, or, well, no, sorry, I'm lost on days a little bit, too, a little bit fuzzy there, um, so, no, it would have been Thursday afternoon, late, that I ended up getting, like, it, it was, I thought it was gonna split my head open, if I'm being honest, um, so I called them and um, Friday and they said, yeah, discontinue the use of both of those because they, are, I guess, are known to cause headaches in some people. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want, have, want to have repeated that anytime soon. So yeah, um, that happened Wednesday morning and it is now Saturday and I still have a really low grade headache. Um, that if I'm not taking Advil, like on the dotted every two hours, it, it turns into a massive migraine again. Um, so yeah, that was my eventful week. So yeah, hope you guys are doing okay. I think some of my chickens are gonna lay eggs early. One of them was like chasing the babies out of the nest box the other day. Um, sorry, I was looking for more of these clips. I got all that fuzz from those, that other um, fun fur stuff that we were using the other day, or eyelash trim, I think is what some people call it. Um, yeah, so never a dull moment in my life, is it? <laughs> All right, talk amongst yourselves for a second. I'm going to look to see if my extra clips are on the other side over here. the big bin of them still in the back on the countertop back there. Mm. Oh, really, Jesse? It was that necessary, huh? Um, for those of you that are new, I have a uh, Smooth Coat Collie, um, which is like Lassie, only like tricolor blacks and browns um only not well his his dad was rough coat so he's kind of a mixture of smooth and rough um anyways yeah he is pretty dramatic he definitely likes to be heard so yeah i mean the bruise of my rump is pretty impressive I, i'm not gonna lie i, I i'm i am kind of shocked at it bruised up as bad as it did. Um, I'm not necessarily an easy bruiser, but 
you guys had seen it, you guys would probably be laughing your ever-loving heads off at it. Kind of, it's a little bit big for that one, but I kind of like it. of something else that might be of interest to you going on in our, our world, but I don't think I really have much. Um, Grace is at a hockey game tonight. You know what I was wondering is maybe we could use our nail polish trick too on these roses. Um... I know where it is. I don't know that I've seen it recently. Oh, there it is. I see it now. <clears throat> so in addition to like all the well stuff last week or two weeks ago, I guess it would be now, but um, I think my washer's going out. Heaven knows how much that's going to be to replace them. And even if, even if I can afford it, right? Like I have no idea if they even have those kind of things in stock right now with all the, like shipping delay things or whatever, because I'll have to go into, I have to make a stop tomorrow after church at Home Depot. So, um, to get stuff. So maybe I'll check there. And the dryer's not great either. It's never really ran right. It's always taken like two cycles to dry anything, even like small loads. <clears throat> I'd really like to have back my washer that I had um, in my 20s. That sucker took a licking and kept ticking. And it was easy to repair because it didn't have all the electronics. <clears throat> Sure do miss that one. And this set, I mean, it's like we replaced it in uh, November of 2015. So, I mean, it's not crazy old, but it's definitely not not old enough in my opinion to be acting up the way it is. They just don't make things to last anymore, do they? look to see what time it was when I started. So I guess we're just gonna record till I'm done. <laughs> I was actually thinking these might look kind of cute with some of those uh, pearls on them. If I do that, then I'll have to wait for them to dry and that's yeah. Is this the last one? It looks like it. Worked out pretty good, huh? Okay. I'm gonna set the ones that are still drying over here. Cap off that glue. That way. I just feel like it need they need something. Don't you? Like there's something missing. Um all right, so what I'm gonna use is just, um, I got it at the dollar store. It is uh, base coat, top coat, um, LA Colors Clear. 
um, and it just puts a tiny bit of a, a sheen to it so it like stands out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a thick coat, just kind of get it on there. So yeah, it just lets them kind of come to life a little bit. So, um, what other interesting details can I tell you? Um, Hmm. I don't know that there's really a whole lot of anything going on these days in my world. Did I already, I already did that one, didn't I? Oh my goodness, that's why I was looking half wet. I'm like, how did I get it? Do I have the nail polish on my finger, like on my hands? No. Oh my goodness. Hope that made you guys giggle. Yeah, well. Um, I think I decided that I'm going to order a set of uh, tap shoes because I have always wanted to learn tap dancing since I was like a very little girl. And I feel like it's one of those things that I could maybe not be great at, but at least I can do it in the comfort of my own home and make myself laugh, right? Because I can't really like, afford tap dancing lessons per se. So I was like, because I did look into it on that side and they are, in our area, it is so expensive. It's like 120 some dollars a week. Like, no thank you, I can't afford that. <clears throat> Anyhow, yeah, I thought about maybe just buying a pair of tap shoes and they, like YouTube has all kinds of videos for everything, right? So I was just kind of thinking maybe I would, uh, Just kind of watch a couple of videos. I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe I should not even do that, but I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. And like clog dancing. I don't know about you guys, but that's like one of my favorite things to watch. Like, um, like on America's Got Talent when they do that and there's like clog and tap dancers. I always really like, I love the sound of it too. Though I think I'm going to have to wait till my concussion eases. I mean, just saying. I think this is just literally the right amount of shine to kind of bring them out. Okay, let's see what these... The next one, I know I think I've said it before, the next um, journal that I'm going to start working on is Lorna's um, Winter Kit. Um, I'm a little late on the winter part, but I think it'll be pretty. And I don't necessarily think you have to just use it for winter months. But I'm going to... Um, I went ahead and backed all of the kit papers with a um, copy of my blue cabbage dye papers. Um, 
and I've got most of the fussy cutting cut out, I think. Um, so that one probably shouldn't take us too awful long. I did do that one, didn't I? No, it doesn't feel like it. And if I did, I'll just redo it, right? Oh well. Not overly worried about it if I got it on twice, right? Jesse, knock it off. <laughs> I swear, if he were smaller, he would be up in my lab right now. <clears throat> All right, like those, that's pretty well dry. It's not gonna stick to anything. So you can kind of see it doesn't actually like put like a huge shine on it, but just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video for just a second, give these a few more minutes to dry. And then when we come back, we will glue these in. And then we might wanna throw some ruffles um, just on a couple of the pages. Um, we'll just see what we get. So I'll be right back guys. Okay, these are dry enough for now, or a dry enough period, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I wanna do something a little bit here. Oh, but I was thinking maybe one of the fun little polka dot ones, and I'm gonna glue them in. Um, hopefully that's in frame, let me check. Yep, you can come down a little bit. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna glue these in. I may have to put a clip on those. Piper, come on. I kinda wanna make them to where they're like sticking out just a little bit to give the edges some break in there. Now the cat's going crazy. <laughs> and the dog. Oh my goodness. It's never a dull moment during one of my videos, is it? I was thinking since the kids weren't here, maybe it'd be quieter, but not so much with animals around, huh? Okay, so as I was saying, I think every pocket except for one is going to get one of these here i like that blue with that is that it is there another blue one yeah yep i think i like that because it kind of matches with those little pink flowers there And I believe that these are, I know that they're Shabby Dabby Doodah's roses, but I can't, I don't remember if she has just a rose kit, I think. I think you can just get her roses in a fussy cut too. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I am loving this journal. Okay, this is the one that's not gonna get anything because it's one of those fold out pockets, which I'll show in the flip through. And these, I don't think so. Um, one, because they already have some lace, already has some flowers here. I think it might just be too bulky. But up here, definitely. <laughs> can you guys hear him? I, like, I never, I never can tell whether you guys are actually going to hear what he's groaning about or not. He just, the more I talk, the more he groans. Oh, 
He is a character for sure. grungy papers too. I think I think Jamie's the one that gave me those. And that one doesn't need one because it's already got some stuff there. So I do want one for here. Let's get one of these ones here. Yep, like that. And then we might go back through and just do some random pages. Kind of fill in just a few more, like maybe some in the middle. Okay, and this one, I think I'm not going to put one on either because I think it'll just impede. I don't know if I have one that would kind of match that anyways. So let's get one on the back pocket here. Um, is that a pink? Should the other gray one back here too? Do I like that? I do. I kind of like how the gray kind of pulls that stuff out. to get my glue over to one of those sugar bell bo bottles but it's kind of one of the last things on my mind when I um when I'm cleaning up the craft stuff okay so let's see how we're looking here okay so we got quite a bit at the bottom so let's go put a couple at the top and maybe some in the middle so maybe we'll take one page here. And let's go top on one of these. Yep, I might need to make a couple more. That's a okay, isn't it? I'll have to find more doilies though. I'm not sure where I put that stack. on that one. That's what we got here. That looks cute. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's starting to shape up pretty nicely, I think. Yeah, I think, because this one I think would look better on the back side of a page too. So let's go ahead and get one glued in mid-page over here maybe. Yeah. So I think what I will do is call this one a video. And then I will make a couple more of these um, little clusters. And then... When I come back, we'll do a flip through. And then the journal will be listed. I usually do the flip through video. I load it, release it, and then, then release the photos in the Etsy store. Okay, so, so far, you can kind of see how that's coming together. Like I said, I'm gonna make a couple more of these so that it's kind of nice and proofy um, when it gets closed up, like so. Yeah, we need a couple more. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with me, and we will just talk to you soon. Bye.